Hi, my name is Lisa Huck and my practice is called Thrive Fitness Nutrition Lifestyle and my passion is helping you understand your body better so that you can take care of it. So I'm responding to a question from Sheila, thank you Sheila for your enthusiasm, about IT band tightness. When I think of IT band, I think more of a muscle that is trying to balance from top to bottom, the top of the body to the bottom of the body. The IT band is the tendon, remember a tendon is the end of a muscle, a ligament connects bones. So the IT band is the tendon of a muscle called the TFL, which is right here in the front of your hip, as well as the glute. They come together and they merge and they form very white fiber, no blood supply, tight IT band. And it goes down to the knee. Now that IT band, by the way, so from the back it looks like this. The glute comes, the tensor fascia lateral or TFL muscle come, and they merge together on the side. Now something I want you to know is that the IT band, the tissue of the IT band, the fascia, goes all the way down the side of your calf. And so that's important. So when we talk about the IT band, there's not one quick fix that I would offer. Really, when I think about tight IT band, I think about a body that's out of balance, that has a tight foot or tight hips. Often when you have tight feet, you're gonna have tight hips. So I really want to address that as a bigger picture, but I want to give you something that at a lower level, if you couldn't do the hamstring and back butt stretch on the table, this is a good way to loosen up that hip tissue. I am also going to put in the description a link to a seated version of this as well as a link to a groin, 3D groin stretch because IT band is opposed by the groin and really is balancing out the whole body. Um, so think about that, but this is going to be a, a, a stretch that will help loosen up those tissues and help you progress up to more intense stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off laying down on your back. Put one foot on the other knee, arms are out wide, and then gently start by just turning your hips right to left in the speed and the range that feels comfortable to you. If you have a back injury, listen to your back. I have a back injury and I sometimes have to do this slow, but this always gives me relief. So this addresses everything from top to bottom. That IT band is a muscle that's trying to hold the body together in good balance from top to bottom. So you can go just like this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I could switch sides and do the other side. Then I can hold and push away. This is a, a beginning stretch. And then I can pull and pull the knee to the sternum. I'm gonna do that three to four times. Hold, one, two, three. Pull, hold, one, two, three. I can also do that idea in this position. I can push and then I can pull, okay? You do that on both sides. Now, the more advanced version of that is up against a wall, a, a door, the bottom of your bed, the top of your bed, right here at about 90 degrees. Now, if you're super tight, you won't be able to do 90 degrees. You're gonna have to back off the wall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the foot over and I'm gonna start with the same thing. Because again, when we're addressing the body to get better balance, it's not about just the isolation because your body is not isolated. All your muscles work together to hold the frame together in happy balance. So you can start there. This feels really good on your hips and your back, internally and externally rotating your hip. And then I stop in the center. I square up my hips, push the knee away. As I push the knee away, I drive my neck down, I pull the head long and I draw on my belly button and I keep my spine really stable. Where you should probably feel this is in the hip. Then I'm gonna hold out for about three seconds and then pull to here, drawing my knee to my sternum, holding it, three seconds, push away. I can hold on my ankle for more leverage, push. Now what will happen when you push here often, the hip will hike up. If you feel your hip swivel, take your other hand and brace there so that your frame isn't compensating for the tight tissue. Drive your neck down, pull the head long, and then pull. Do that about three or four times. What that's gonna do, so here's my reasoning, and you're asking about a tight IT band, I'm giving you a hip stretch. Again, the IT band balances from the hip to the ankle. Um, that's a good place to start, and it feels really good. 
more IT bound stuff is really about the doing the three dimensional dynamic stretch that you'll find in the body activation series. This is a series that I created that I do with every client every day to take the body and integrate it from top to bottom because that's the true key to getting IT bands to be happy and calm down. And you can find that on my website, thrivefnl.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and share these videos so we can make a better impact, a greater impact in teaching people that movement is a miracle. Thank you, I'm Lisa Huck.